Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 New York Mets. Okay, all set to go. And the batter now, Trent Grisham. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher. Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Here's Machado. The first base. Next offering is foul back. Next offering way off the plate. And a pitch. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Jake Cronenworth. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. The next offering misses. Three and one. And he blows that one by him at 100. Oh, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Line drive, and that's a base hit into left field. And that keeps the inning alive. Throw back in, holds him at first, so just a single. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The 3-1. Up the middle. To first, out number three. Bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy Brandon Nimmo. The 1 1. And fouled off. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Left-hand batter waits. This one popped up. Machado should have this one. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. Marte retired. Here's Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Here's a 1-1. And now the count, 1-2 after the swing and the miss. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. to right. Myers settles under it. Brings it in for the third out. Top of the second. Pierce Hosmer. Boogan, the one thing about that is 
speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way and this is what this guy does and a swing and a miss one gone here will myers now kind of a throwback no batting gloves next one misses ball two one down, base is empty. There's a strike. No score here in the second. Next offering upstairs. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. Myers stays alive. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And two away now. And now it's Austin Nola. The two on. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here in Queens. Stepping in the long ball threat, Pete Alonzo. And the righty deals. Darvish, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Right-hander kicks deals. And that's downstairs and outside. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. That one down the line, and that squirts through. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Here's Mark Canna. Stays alive. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Machado throws to first in time. That's one out the bottom of the second. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Now it's one and two. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left field, way back there. That one's carrying. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Runner tags up for third. He's in there. Now it's Dominic Smith. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. And that's outside. Right side, hard hit. And foul ball. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. On to the third inning. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. 
kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the right hander deals. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Fell in the box. He's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Ha Sung Kim getting ready to hit. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Profar gets his lead at first. Nobody out. the pitch the punch out there and one away in the top of the third so the San Diego batting order turns over now it's Trent Grisham to the plate let off the game with a strikeout the pitch and now two and one this guy absolutely flies the defense wants to turn two but they've got to get a ball they can do it with make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing two two down Three balls, two strikes. fouled off again and it remains three and two a swing and a miss and he's down on strikes for the second time today Manny Machado the next up for the Padres caught looking his first time up next pitch is outside top of the third no score out towards left center Nimmo on the move to his right Makes the catch inning over. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Jeff McNeil stands in. And he deals. Swings through that one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning. Through a lot of pitches. Nope, Next offering misses. It's two and two. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging. Leadoff man retired here in the third. James McCann in now. And the pitch. That one misses. And the count is even two and two. Righty delivers. 3 2 now. Two down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Two outs. So now one and two. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have... And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Here at City Field, here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. And a pitch. That's inside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Rudder at first with no outs here. Yeah, yeah, 
Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Stepping in for San Diego, Eric Hosmer. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball on a strike. That one missing inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity. You... Rudder takes off. Pitches low. McCann fires. Ow! Caught stealing. And now a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Right side. Marte makes the catch, and that'll do it. here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Starling Marte. At the belt and fires. Going to count one and two. He swings and fouls one off. pitch and yeah, the one two misses to even the count that one way outside and now three and two and here it comes in the air to left center Grisham makes the grab and there's one down Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Francisco Lindor. The 1-1. And there's the strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Got him looking. Two gone now. Pete Alonso digs in now. Doubled in his first A.B. The pitch. Foul ball there. The 2 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. We go to the top of the fifth. And now the right fielder, Will Myers. And a pitch. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. Alonso makes the catch and a quick out number one. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. Next offering upstairs. Foul off left side. The wind of the pitch. Center field. Nimmo moving under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Jerickson Profar now at the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Here's a 1-1. Profar gets a piece there. 
One and two now. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Way inside, gets out of the way. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball popped up, and that drops foul. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. This is the zone, and it's two and two. And down on strikes he goes, and one out now. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Escobar checks his swing, appeal to third, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Dom Smith stands in. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And there's a ball. Strike two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely wow. hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Smith leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Kim makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Queens, top six. And now the shortstop, ha -sung Kim. the ground right side toss to Alonzo one up one down well he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution on the ground right side can't field it cleanly throw to first gets him good job to stay with it there for the second out two outs base is empty so digging in now for San Diego, Manny Machado. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Next pitch is outside. And he deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it.
Manny Machado leaves the yard. The Padres score first. It's 1-0. Base is empty with two away. And here is Jake Cronenworth. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And welcome back. Here is James McCann. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. 1-1 one, one to McCann. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Back to the top of the Mets order. Brandon Nimmo, the next to hit. Right-hander kicks, deals. Look out! And it hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, now the best way to make them feel the pain is scoring from first. Look for a good secondary lead and an excellent jump when the ball's in play. In the air, left side. And that one is out of here! An absolute blast to left. And now they're out in front. It's 2-1. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Just a slow ground ball this time. He beats it out and the tapper turns into an infield single. Run around at first with one gone. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Darvis checks on the runner. Lidore back in there. Kicks and fires. On the ground could be two. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So Craig Stammen into the game. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needs a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. And here is Mark Canna. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Lindor, the lead runner at second. Alonso over at first with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. The one-two. Foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We go to the top of the seventh, and Luke Voigt climbs in. And a 1-1. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So they turn things over to the righty, Seth Lugo. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And now it's Eric Hosmer. Pulls that one foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch is downstairs. And the right hater deals. And Hosmer swings through it. Struck him out. Now one away. So up next, Will Myers. One run game, one out, one on. The next offering misses. Two and one. And a pitch. On the ground, a second might be two. Lindor, that's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Tim Hill. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Dominic Smith. Left-hand batter waits on the ground right side. Fires over to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. And that's outside. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. James McCann. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The pitch. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Trevor May trying to protect this lead. Number 65. Here at City Field, here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Righty delivers. And that's ripped for a base hit. Just a huge at bat right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. No outs, runner at first. And the batter now, Jerickson Profar. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. And that is a big first out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Hassan Kim. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Right-handed reliever. That one ran inside, almost got him. The 2 1. Inside, backs him off again. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. 
Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And now two ball. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And a sling and a miss. That ends the frame. Jorge Alfaro, the new catcher now. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Left-hand hitter waits. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 2-1. This one chopped up the middle. Over to Hosmer. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Starling Marte up to hit. Number six. Starling. Out towards right center field. Grisham drops steps, heads back on it, and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Not shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Two outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonso. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Next pitch, way upstairs. And now the lefty. That just misses. Three and one. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Wow, no fair right there. I mean... That slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that ends the inning. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Stepping in for San Diego, Manny Machado. Got him! And that's the first down. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. A strikeout and a walk. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball three. You get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Makes the catch. And that quickly, two away. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The 1-1. One -one. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, we saw a lot of good pitching and defense in this ball game. And when you have a low-scoring game, it's imperative that the guys stay on their toes, ready to make plays behind their pitcher. And they did exactly that. It's an excellent win. Everyone goes in the clubhouse feeling really good about themselves.
victorious New York Mets. Two runs on five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Padres, one run, four hits, two errors. They left four runners on base. 